So, Bunny. Yes. Uh, I meant to originally bring this up last week, but last week was a pretty damn full episode of the show. Yes. What with Shap, Steve's historical approximations, and Mandela Effect, and just just that forty mi- that forty five minute stretch where we were just kicking kittens into an open manhole. It was a busy episode last week. But, but the kitten kicking was so worth it. Yeah, no, we're definitely going to win an award for that. And, yeah. and, and and I didn't even mention how a large portion of last week was uh, about my niece's sex life. So yeah, I, I I I meant to say this last week, but now is as good a time of any. I finally saw Black Panther Bunny. You did. How was it? Uh, it, it took me a really long time to see it because I just I I don't get out and watch movies right now. So when I I finally saw it, and then today I heard uh, Amber's boyfriend Jaden say, "Oh yeah, that movie looks really good, but I haven't seen it yet." And I just went racist. Yeah, and that felt really good because now I've seen it, so I can start rubbing it in other people's faces who haven't seen it. Yeah. At first, now at first, when I first saw the movie, I thought, oh, this is good. This is how, pretty good. How did like Wakanda it. look? Huh? How did Wakanda look? Oh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Did it, it did it, re, did it retain like a, did it look African? Oh, yeah, definitely. Cool. Definitely. When cool. I first saw I'm it. So, I, I mean, like, that's, that's my, that's my, my. That's the biggest part of this movie that I'm really curious about to see what they did with that, you know, because I might rip that off one day. Yeah, no, it looked <laughs> like a like a highly ridiculously uh scientifically advanced small African nation. They did nice. a really good job with that. Nice. It, it, when I first saw it, afterwards I thought, "Oh, this is pretty good." It was good. I liked it. It's right up there with Doctor Strange and Ant Man and Junk. Like that was a that was a pretty good movie. But then, like a day later, two days later, three days later, I'm still thinking about like uh, the the tech and thinking about T'Challa's little sister and that it, that crazy ass chase scene in South Korea. And it's all just so impressive. And it really does stay with you. It's a really fun world. Yeah. And the thing that I find it, it, it it's funny because this film is hilarious it, if you look at it in the right way. It's hilarious in the sense of the Marvel Cinematic Universe versus the DC Cinematic Universe because DC was just struggling and they're like, oh man, nobody liked Man of Steel. What should we do? I know, we'll make Man of Steel 2. Oh wait, <laughs> how can we trick people into watching this movie this sequel to a movie that they didn't like uh let's put batman in it they can fight they've never been in a film before this is a good enough gimmick to trick people into watching man of steel too and uh let's just jump into uh, to justice league ah uh, you know what this is no we gotta beat marvel how can we beat marvel how can we beat the marvel cinematic universe what thing haven't they done i know we'll give women their first solo superhero movie we'll also add captain kirk as kind of a a a sexist son of a bitch but that doesn't matter it's the first female superhero movie wonder woman ha this will be such a historic film yeah that everyone will come and see it and then here's dc and they get on their soapbox and they go we have given a movie to women top that (laughs) marvel and marvel marvel rolled up their sleeves and went okay hold my beer yeah. <laughs> I got an idea and then they whip out fucking Black Panther. Yeah. Cuz that's basically what happened. And I think that's hilarious. Oh, you gave you gave uh women their first superhero movie. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Gee, there's no way we can top that. Wait. So then Marvel's like, "Ah, oh, what's the one weakness that DC has always had?" Huh? What one thing does DC lack a lot of? (laughs) I've got it. Black people! (laughs) If there is a black person, oh, here's Black Lightning, here's Black Thunder, here's Black that guy. Yeah, what's what's the guy that Rock is supposed to play in uh, Captain Marvel? Black Black Adam. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh man, we one well, of these days we will one of these days we will have to do Wonder Woman because I, I I honestly don't think it's that good. But that's beside the point. That's for another episode. I I have yet to see that either. Yeah. To to be honest, I was hesitant to watch Black Panther at first. Uh, not because of any racism, but just because all of society said I had to, and that just makes me like a stubborn son of a bitch. Um, like when every, when yeah. everyone says, yeah, when everyone says this is the most important thing in the world and everyone must see it, that's when I get all intransigent. <laughs> that is a triple word score if yes, you are playing is. the Pope on film home game or one of those fantasy leagues. That's a triple yeah. word score. But I, but I, I, I saw it. What finally made me see it, like, oh man, this is like the fourth week that this movie's been out. It's still number one. This movie can't be stopped. Should I go watch this film? And what, what finally sold me on getting out of the house, taking some time to myself, and going to see this movie was just, this is the last film before Infinity Wars. Oh, okay. You know, so a lot of in of Avengers: Infinity War will be set in a universe that Black Panther creates. Do we do we have Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, the Marvel Cinematic Universe is a, it, it has it undergoes a big change immediately after the credits roll in in the Black Panther movie. Wow. Okay. Yeah, like there's a big thing that happens in the end of the film and that basically sets up the beginning of Infinity Wars. Okay. I, I've seen some trailers. Yeah. Um Thanos ain't looking And they so seem good. to be very heavy on Wakanda and Black Panther and stuff. The trailers for Infinity War. Yeah, yeah. Now that I think about it. I was just yeah. hung up that Thanos looks kind of not so great. Yeah, but But if you're a Marvel fan, you you kinda have to go and see Black Panther. You just have to. Plus I have plus I have my own personal reason for whatever reason we did the podcast last week and then after that like I was really happy and I was really positive and it was a really good episode but then like like I like I like a couple of hours later like something snapped in me and I just sunk into this deep massive depression. Yeah. I have no idea why I was just like it just it it just happened. It just came on like a sudden cold. It was just, oh man, I I was just deeply depressed, real depressed. And, and uh, N- Natasha, my wife, she knows me and she's just like, wait, well, we, you know, what do you need? Do you need some time? You want to go somewhere? You want to, you want to go to a movie? That always cheers you up. You want to go to a movie? You can go to a movie, go for it. And I just kept saying no and no. And then eventually, uh, you know, it, it, it was like a Sunday and the kids were going nuts and, and yeah. it, a lot of yelling and, and, Finally, I just said, hey, can I go see a movie? And she said, sure. So I just went and I took myself out. I went to the movies and I said, yeah, it's 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 like it's like four o'clock on a Sunday in the middle of nowhere, Oklahoma. This isn't going to be that packed. So I went to the theater and 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 again, it came. The movie came out a month ago. And I was really proud to see that that even in the middle of nowhere, Oklahoma, on a Sunday afternoon, that theater was still fucking packed. Nice. That is very like, telling. Like, like I remember going to see uh, the Grand Budapest Hotel a day after it came out, and there was nobody in that fucking theater. Yeah. So I was happy to see that, like, even a month later, ba- Black Panther, there was still a fuck ton of people in there. So I was happy about that. Anyway, Steve's quick review. Great movie. You should watch it. Uh, it it really is impressive, and their use of technology is incredible, and it, it 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 really is good. I never cared for Black Panther as a character. I never got into him. Well, but, you know, and that's but, something I was saying to Jeannie too uh, about this movie that I had mentioned to her is that the Black Panther costume itself is more fitting to a movie than it is a comic book. Uh, yes, but because it's really kind of like okay, you you're a black splotchy thing. Yeah. You know, you're black, and well, there's some highlights. You know, well, 
Well, I, I'll, I'll tell you this: the the costume undergoes a real a real change in the in the Black Panther movie, which again sets up a lot of what's going to be happening in the next film. Uh, in terms of the Avengers, in terms of uh, Iron Man, yeah, yeah. So, so the the costume completely changes everything in, in this next movie. And it, when I first saw when I first saw Black Panther in Civil War, that that was one of the things I'm like, okay, this costume is just okay. You're 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 like a red blob. You're 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 a black blob of your your outfit's just all black and okay i i your outfit's supposed to be more but i was really pr- impressed with what they did with the outfit in in the black panther movie yeah yeah it is much better and it does fit in the comic books it fits a lot in the comic books what so. i what i would like to see marvel do with as as they go forward is I want the little panel boxes back, you know? So when we're watching Avengers in a certain scene, a little panel box will pop up and it'll say something like, see Black Panther. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that would be the little nice. footnotes. Like, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, like, like they always do in the comic books. Yeah. Yeah, that would be awesome. 